Welcome to Richard Maybe Presents. Each YouTube video will be like a chapter in a book, a reflection, a perspective, a memory of a moment in time. Hopefully, it will serve as a bit of inspiration and, if you will, a spiritual lesson, something to chew on, something to consider, something to contemplate upon. We thank you for tuning in. And now, another episode of Richard Maybe Presents. Hello, folks, and welcome to another chapter of Perspectives by yours truly, Richard Maybe. Um, I wanted to talk about the, I, I title this, The Birth of a Newspaper, the birth, the birth of a Small Town Weekly. And I guess it was around 19... 83, the beginning of 83, I was 29 years old, and previously I had written for Small Town Weeklies, or uh, they, they I don't know if they still have them, they used to have uh, regional newspapers that were published on Wednesday and Sunday. So anyway, I took the jump and started working for a large daily newspaper in New Jersey, Northern New Jersey. So what I did, um, basically obituaries, uh, wedding announcements, engagement announcements, church news, scout news, um, uh, some town, town council meetings, that kind of thing. But I basically wasn't getting bylines. And at the time, it wasn't until a year or two working there that I realized the importance of bylines because, quite frankly, I was looking to move on to greener pastures. So... Um, I worked very hard. Uh, I probably was working like 50, 60 hours a week because I would do, I would not only work at their office, I would work at home. And plus the time you spend in a, in a say a town council meeting starts at 7.30. So you get there seven, hoping to catch some town councilmen for some quotations. The meeting runs to like say nine, nine thirty, sometimes ten o'clock, and then you try to get a quote or two afterward, you know, talking to the council people. So it was easily fifty to sixty hours a week, easily. Um, you know, you start an idea, you crumple up the paper, throw it, you know, there, it wasn't there was there was something called SAMNA. Uh that was the the, so like the, the, the equivalent of Microsoft Word. Well, I had a habit of saying to my boss, hey, I got an idea. Why don't we try this? In terms of layout and say they had the page for engagement and wedding announcements. And I would come up with a format, a new format. I said, hey, I got an idea. Why don't we try this? And she would always sort of nicely, and sometimes not so nicely, listen to me and say, no, we can't do that. So one day, I had one morning, and I think it was a Monday morning, I had come up with an idea um, on Wednesdays or Mondays have an entire page be Scout News, you know. Uh, Sammy Smith receives Eagle Scout Award, you know. Um, 
uh, Northern New Jersey Campery uh, is big success, you know, that kind of thing. So I remember distinctly, she had a habit of, uh, I guess, she, uh, twiddling her pencil, you know, like, and then hitting her pencil on the desk as I talked and look in, 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 um, 16th notes, you know, like, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. And then she'd roll her eyes. Well, this idea of Scout News, it would be either on a Monday edition or Wednesday edition. She said, she slams the pencil down on the desk and she says, Richard, you know what you really ought to do? You really ought to start your own newspaper. And it really wasn't like, Hey, Richard, you should start your own newspaper. Okay. And so part two begins, had a little interruption there. So at any rate, she says, Richard, why don't you just start your own newspaper? You know, kind of almost a little bit, a little bit angry, you know, a little bit, a little bit like I just had it with you and your ideas. So that was in the morning and it just ate at me all day long. I mean, all morning long. So at lunchtime, I went down to, um, instead of going to the cafeteria, I think it was um, back then, I think they had a Roy Rogers down the street in Precipity. And I went to the Roy Rogers and got a roast beef sandwich. And I know a lot of you are vegetarians and I used to be a vegetarian, I respect it, but I had a roast beef sandwich. So anyway, and it really, really nagged at me terrible. So I looked at my watch and I was at a point where I could get back to the office and still have 10 minutes of lunch time. So I get back to the office, to my desk, about 10 minutes early, maybe 12 minutes earlier. And I typed out my resignation. Sweet and simple. Two weeks notice. I played fair. Played fair. Two weeks notice. And I handed it to her. And I said, Jackie, I think I'm going to start my own newspaper. And she laughed. I mean, mockingly laughed. Like, yeah, right. You're going to start a newspaper. And almost like in that, Batman's Joker's laugh was this echoing, mocking decree of, you moron, you can't start a newspaper. I put in the two weeks, and then this was in beginning of the year. And I started um, Lincoln Park Journal. And I uh, had the paper for oh, a few years and did very well. And I'll talk more about that in another vlog. But to those of you who are bogged down in a nine to five job and it seems like it's a dead end, you're not being treated very nicely, you don't get the credit you deserve, uh, they're, they're hanging carrots in front of you telling you a lot of lies, saying, well, you know, you'll get that promotion. Um, we're, we're thinking of giving you a raise and they're just lying through their teeth. Take that courageous step and step out on your own and start something on your own. I mean, believe in yourself, believe and your God-given talents and believe you can move mountains uh, really and truly. I'm going to close this vlog and I shall talk to you again very soon. And as always, thank you for, oh, oh yeah. And please, please, I always forget to say this, hit the like button if you like my vlog and please consider hitting the subscribe button. 
as Roy Rogers would say, happy trails. <laughs>